Kristen Immortal Love. Their romance is no secret now, but when the Twilight stars first started dating, they tried really hard to keep it under wraps. But that, of course, was virtually impossible. Kat Sadler explains. It's very dangerous in Hollywood when on-screen lovers become off-screen lovers. If that relationship goes south, then that can affect the whole film. But obviously it showed that Robin Christian felt it was worth it. Despite keeping their relationship on the DL, by the end of 2010, Robin and Christian were no longer hiding their feelings for one another. They were sort of more relaxed about their relationship. They weren't afraid to be seen in public. You would see them holding hands on occasion. They weren't afraid anymore to do stuff like go and grab dinner. They like to see a lot of live music with friends. They moved in together, they're renting a house in Los Feliz. It's kind of like they let their guard down a little bit because everyone really, you know, there's no denying it anymore. In August 2011, Robson even shared a place in London while Stewart filmed Snow White and the Huntsman with director Rupert Sanders. I've been making commercials for Speak Quietly for 10 years, you know, honing, honing the craft, and, and this seemed like you know, the right project to really grab a hold of and, and, and make my own. It was obviously his first film. He had a lot riding on it. He got very close to his leading lady and his cast members because he wanted the film to be perfect. By the time filming wrapped, it seemed there was no stopping Robson. They were very serious. They even sort of talked about the future. There was marriage talk. This was a couple that was there to stay, and they were making steps towards a more settled relationship. I think because in Breaking Dawn Part 1 there actually is a wedding, people are compelled to pull, I think, what you see on street off screen. Man to man, when you first saw Kristen walking down that aisle in the dress, in the film, what did you say to yourself? I'm not going to do some acting now. <laughs> it's so amazing and everyone's looking at her. It's all very natural. It felt like kind of a real ceremony to me. Were they going to get engaged? There was rumors. There were reports. There were sources saying that, that, that Rob was close to it. Five years from now, are you single or married? That's what they want me to ask you, all those girls. I have no idea. <laughs> you know, she's got a great spirit. She's very kind of rebellious and, and spicy and kind of wild. In May 2012, pictures came out of Kristen having dinner with Rupert. Rupert Sanders was happily married to Liberty Ross, former it girl in London, and Kristen was obviously very, very deep into her relationship with Rob. No one really questioned it. But on July 17th, Kristen and her director crossed the line that would haunt them both. The paparazzi were following Kristen as they did every day. She was staying at Rob's house in Los Feliz at the time. On the way home from the gym, she got a phone call. She turned her car around, met Rupert in sort of a, an abandoned parking lot. Rupert arrived in his car, got in her car, and the pack started following them. They moved to several different locations where they were photographed kissing, cuddling, in some very sort of sexy positions. The photos were taken in a public park. This wasn't what you're expecting from an A-list movie star who has paparazzi following her at all times of the day. The fact that she would be so sort of cavalier about what she was doing, who she was doing it with, was really almost as shocking as the fact that she was cheating on Rob Pattinson. But no one else knew the photos existed. They were taken on a Tuesday. Two days later, Rob and Kristen went out on a date and were photographed, and then at the Teen Choice Awards, Rob and Kristen were there together as well. Kristen was seen hanging out with Rob like nothing had gone wrong, smiling, posed for pictures. You know, despite these photos being taken, nobody would have suspected that anything was amiss. Until July 24, when the Twilight love story came crashing down. When the photos of Kristen and Rupert were released, fans non-fans, everyone was shocked. How could Kristen, who had the seemingly perfect relationship, be caught kissing another man? It wasn't possible. Rob and Kristen were the perfect couple. They were Bella and Edward. They represented enduring forever love. Fans took to Twitter stating, I hope that pic of her and the director is fake. Next joke, please. Robston is unbroken. And there is just a part of me that screams, fake, fake, fake. People just could not cope with the fact that Kristen could possibly do this. The next day, fans' nightmares were confirmed when Case 2 publicly acknowledged the steamy photos in a statement to People magazine that said, I'm deeply sorry for the hurt and embarrassment I've caused to those close to me and everyone this has affected. This momentary indiscretion has jeopardized the most important thing in my life, the person I love and respect the most, Rob. 
I love him. I love him. I'm so sorry. I think it was shocking for some people because she'd never publicly even admitted that he was her boyfriend, like, in such a kind of direct way. I think that was what she was trying to underscore, is that it just didn't happen, it was stupid, and it's just a blip on the radar. This was her way of speaking to him through a public statement. That same day, Sanders, who has two kids and his wife of seven years, actress, model, Liberty Ross, released an apology through People, which said, in part, I am utterly distraught about the pain I have caused my family. I am praying that we can get through this together. This was not something that they were proud of, but it wasn't something they denied. They admitted it straight on, they took responsibility, and they tried to move forward. It wasn't just the inner circle feeling their pain. The story hit the Twy World hard. Some fans even vented on YouTube. Because of the issue with David, and I thought it wasn't real, but it's real. It showed how much people cared and how much they loved this couple and how much people's personal lives were invested in Rob and Kristen's happiness. To say that there was an outpouring of emotion just is an understatement. There wasn't anybody that wasn't talking about it. Late night talk shows didn't miss the chance to partake with big names like Will Ferrell and Bruce Willis who had some serious fun with the story. Kristen and Rob! that fans were waiting for. And what's next for the couple when we come back?